Okay, let's roll. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're two days away from Jake Paul's rematch with Tyron Woodley, live on Showtime pay-per-view. Another pay-per-view, your headline in Jake. How would you sum up what you are to boxing right now? The most valuable boxer. You know, that's that's why the most valuable promotions uh, CEO gave me the most valuable boxer belt. Uh, everything I'm doing inside and outside the ring, you know, it's hard to deny that. It's hard to deny what I'm doing. And it's not just from the pay-per-view draws, right? It's it's from my movement and the story I'm creating and what I'm fighting for. As the MVP of boxing, as you say you are, do you have to knock out Tyron Woodley this time? 100%. It's a must. It's a must. You know, I think if it goes eight rounds, you know, uh, people lose uh, a lot of interest in, in the excitement that I've been building. Uh, so I have to knock them out, and I love that pressure. And I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do it because I know I can. What do you think about, you know, what fans are thinking when you mention the likes of Canelo Alvarez, Floyd Mayweather Jr.? What do you think fans are thinking right now about Jake Paul when you mention them names? Uh, I think they think it's a joke. They, they just think I'm doing it for attention but I'm dead serious that I will fight those people. <laughs> and I know I can beat them. That's the funny thing. And, you know, if we were to fight right now, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be that good of a fight. But we're not fighting right now. We're fighting in three years, two years, four years maybe. And so by then, I will have more fights under my belt, more experience, more training camps, and I get exponentially better, and I work just as hard, if not harder than them, because I'm more hungry. So it's serious, and I know that will happen. Jake, the main criticism that fans label at you is that you haven't fought a professional boxer yet. That was going to happen with Tommy Fury. You said you don't want to do that. He's out the picture. So do you intend to fight a professional boxer next year? I do. I do intend to do that. And we'll see who's on that list, you know. Um, but I want to fight a professional boxer, and I have. That's all I've done in sparring. So I, I guess the reason I feel like I don't necessarily have to is because I do it all the time in sparring against world champions, and I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Um, so... I'm going to do it because uh, I know I can and I know I'll beat these guys. Jake, I spoke to your mother today. She said that John Fury's comments were disgusting and vulgar. Of course, I'm referring to that press conference you had on BT Sport. Your thoughts? Uh, I don't really give a shit, you know. I think he's an entertaining man. He's a little bit cringe, uh, but, you know, it is what it is and... It's all entertainment at the end of the day, so bring it on. You know, Tyson Fury has a loud mouth, his dad has a loud mouth, uh, but they couldn't back it up, so I label all of them bitches. Okay, Tyson Fury said that nobody cares about you, uh, that you're nothing to Tommy Fury, Tommy Fury doesn't need you, uh, and told you to go suck a dick. So, you know, when the heavyweight champion in the world saying these things, what's going through your mind? You know, uh, if no one cares about me, then why are you talking about me? Simple as that. Last question then, uh, Showtime pay-per-view, Fight TV pay-per-view in the UK. Just a, a message to, to boxing fans watching this. Why should we tune into Jake Paul? Man, be a part of the story. Be a part of the movement. And I'm going to go in there and you're going to see a different fighter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on a better show this time. 100% promise that. And I'm going to knock him out. And you don't want to be the one who's not watching this fight because you're going to miss that highlight real knockout. And I'll see you all there because there's a bunch of entertainment going on. The undercard. Man, I could go on for days on why they should be there, man. They're out of here. Come on. You better be there. Jake Paul, really appreciate your time on IFL TV and hopefully speak post-fight, okay? Thank you, sir.